Okay, um, let's continue with our isothermal process. So, um, sorry about the last video, uh, we didn't conclude at the, but then uh, on, on, on isothermal process, um, this isothermal process, this one, it follows the laws of, uh, of P, uh, V is equals to constant. And we know that on isothermal constant, that means it's constant temperatures. No? So uh, when you have constant temperatures, that means you have the final temperature equals to your initial um, temperature. And then you also have a uh, following or we're following this law. So then, then this means that you have P, if P1, uh, V1 is equals to uh, P2, V2. And then you can continue again to say P3, uh, V3. So that's why we say it's equals to constant. And then... Um, when 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 you're calculating uh work done or okay let's say the the what you call the the heat energy you say heat energy is equal to work done plus the internal heat energy but then we know that the internal heat energy is equal to mass uh, c v and then t2 minus t1 so in this case you don't have what your internal heat energy because of what because the uh, because the temperature are the same, the final and the initial. So, therefore, you have Q is equal to W in this case. So, now uh, that means your heat energy is equal to, um, and then for your work done, now your work done will be equal to, uh, your work done is going to be uh, the mass multiplied by uh, MR. Uh, okay, it's MRT lean uh, V2 over V1. So this formula um, has been driven from the formula of work done equals to uh, the integration of this one, V1, V2, and P. Oh, so I'm not going to do everything here on this side because maybe it can uh, confuse people. But then uh, this is the final formula here. And then we know that um, MRT is equal to, or we can say W is equal to PV uh, lean V2 over V1, right? So this is your formula for work done. So that means the internal heat energy is equal to this uh, formula, right? And then the last uh, process we're going to talk about is the, the process of the adiabatic uh, process. So the adiabatic processes uh, or process adiabatic, yeah, this one. So this uh, this process um, is carrying in such a way that there's no heat loss or heat gain inside the process. So that means Q is equally equals to zero. So that means when you're going to use this formula, say Q is equals to W plus uh, U. Uh, and four is that means this one at zero is equals to W plus U. Therefore, your heat, uh, your work done, will be equals to your work done equals to minus uh, U. So that means your work done will be equals to negative of the um of what you call of your uh, of your internal heat energy. So um. It's an adiabatic process. So adiabatic process is carried in such uh, is carried out in such a way that there is no heat transfer into or out of the system. That means um, you won't have um, what you call you won't have uh, Q in this case. So and then uh, heat energy on uh, this case uh, is going or oh, work done on this case is going to be equals to um, P1 V1 V1 minus P2 V2 over R minus 1. So this is called a uh, gamma, right? So uh, your gamma, this one is actually equal to, is actually a ratio of, um, of CP over cv so this is the uh, specific capacity of a constant pressure over 
the specific heat capacity of the constant volume and then uh, you can get what you can get this gamma and then uh, don't confuse this r with the capital letter r this capital letter r is the characteristics of the gas of the gas so or of a perfect gas so this one is equal to p1 uh, cp minus cv in this case so this equation uh this r is not the same as this one this one doesn't have usi units because this one because it's a uh it's a it's a ratio but this one is measured in a uh, kilo uh in kilojoules per kg kelvins yeah? so this is your uh characteristics of the gas uh, constant and then um and then uh, on the polytropic process uh, we didn't discuss the work done so on the polytropic process uh, the work done polytropic process is actually more of the same of the adiabatic process except for this um the, the the theory of the heat loss and heat gain so on the polytropic process uh, you have work done uh, sorry you have um, work done equals to p1 v1 minus p2 v2 over n minus 1 so this n is what you call our index right so then uh, this is sums out our uh, heating of gas the process that we're going to be looking at when we're doing example under heating of gas and then um, uh, to summarize this one we can look at here at this uh, table so like I, was, uh, I said that we're going to use uh, this um, this test book for power machine n5 right so to summarize everything that we were saying uh, they wrote uh, here on this test book so this table it has uh, everything so you have your methods here so your method the first one we, we, we have uh, the constant volume and then we know that the constant volume uh, they say is a symbol here and then the constant volume is represented by volume one will be the same as volume number two we know that is a constant volume and then the work done is actually zero you have heat added or heat rejected so um and this process is equals to uh, this one is the W that we were talking about. Oh, sorry, it's a Q. And then we also have the internal heat energy. And these are other formulas that you can use when you are calculating what the constant volume. And then you also have constant pressure. The same thing as uh, P1 equals to P2. And then you have uh, the work done, YM. And then you have uh, the internal heat energy. Sorry, the, the heat added or heat rejected in the internal heat energy. So we also have the constant uh, temperature, which is the isothermal process. And then we have the polytropic and the adiabatic process. So the adiabatic process, it doesn't have the heat added or heat rejected, but it does have the internal heat energy. And you can also calculate your work done by using this formula. And then... Um, the polytropic process it has everything this one so you have a work done you have uh, the heat in it or heat rejected is going to be equals to the work done plus the internal heat energy which is this internal heat energy plus this work done you get to the heat added and heat rejected and then these are the other formulas that you can use uh, related to this form to this one and then uh, the, the isothermal process, it doesn't have uh, internal heat energy. So don't confuse internal heat energy and heat added or heat rejected. So internal heat energy is the U, and then this is the heat that is added or heat that is re, uh, rejected by the system. Okay, so uh, tune in, we're going to do uh, examples now. Now I have... Um, we have done uh, the um, we have done all the um, the laws of the uh, laws under uh, thermodynamics. So now we're going to be looking at examples and calculating. Thank you.